this right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, this is going to come maybe as a surprise to you for that. I want to let you in on a little secret. Yeah. You're a son of God. Okay, well, you've been adopted, but still, guess what? You're already a son of God. Now, there's also something else true. In case you're a woman, you are a daughter of God. Isn't that cool? <laughs> now, don't tell anyone, but everyone that isn't a son of God or a daughter of God, they're children of their father, the evil one, Satan. Yeah. People that are like in the world that aren't born again yet, you know, like of the spirit and haven't been given their adoption papers yet, they haven't been adopted by God, um, they're kind of like, you know, well, let's just say they act the same way their father acts. They might be liars, they might be thieves, they might be, you know, whatever it is, sinners that they are, but they're just acting out normal for them. Because no matter how good they try to be, they really aren't that good, are they? Because you scratch the surface, all the good that you see, you kind of see something else underneath, don't you? <laughs> I know, it's kind of sad. But you, <laughs> strange as it seems, are son of God. Now, I had that realization. I was standing in a grocery line about Christmas time. And uh, you know what a grocery line's like at Christmas time. <laughs> it ain't no place to be. And I was in Oregon at the time, if I remember right. At least the first time that this thought came to me. And I had gone to, oh, this discount grocery. And I didn't have much money. I think I had $10 for my food budget for the month. <laughs> and some of you may go, no way. <laughs> Some of you from Oregon would go, oh yeah, <laughs> they know. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I don't even think I had that much money, to be honest. <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> it, was, it was sad. It was sad. But uh, I was standing in line and feeling my woes. Woe is me. You know, and there's this long line, you know, people. You know, and I don't have anything. You know, I got maybe three or four items. I forget what it was. And, uh, of course, you know, no one's going to let me in line. It's Christmas. <laughs> you know, you stand in line, buddy. You know, it's not like they're going to give up their place. So I was kind of like standing there, you know, and I'm kind of like daydreaming. And about that time, you know, I'm kind of moaning and groaning, you know, and God decides to talk to me. <laughs> yeah, he talks to me. I know. That's strange for you, maybe. But <laughs> I could never ignore him. I mean, he's always talking to me. I kind of... Him and I had this conversation all the time, you know. Well, you know, I, I usually learn from it <laughs> one way or another. So anyways, us kind of like moaning and groaning, and then finally God started talking to me. And, you know, when God talks to you, you really can't do anything but listen, you know. And that's what I did. I just kind of listened to what he had to say. You know, and he said, you know, a few words, not much, you know, because he usually is very direct <laughs> about what he has to say to me. That's kind of why I don't talk much when it's, my father talking. <laughs> when Jesus talking to me, he kind of gives me more, but when God talks to me, <laughs> when God, my father talks to me, he kind of just, few words, straight to the point. Funny that way. Anyways, now Holy Spirit does a whole different thing, but anyways, we won't get to go to that. But when God talks to me, he said, you're mine. And I went, okay, you know, kind of like thinking, oh, uh, you know, yeah, so, <laughs> now I didn't say that I'm not belligerent with God. Oh well, that's me. <laughs> and I didn't say that I don't argue with God. Less so these days. <laughs> I used to argue a lot. <laughs> but, anyways, he said, you're mine. And I'm standing here, standing in line going, yeah, God, but you don't pay so well. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I did think that thought. I did tell God that. And I'm kind of going, mm, I'm going to pay some of that. And I'm kind of looking at my groceries, looking at all these baskets full, you know. And I remember that when I was in line, I had whatever items I had. I didn't have $10. I think I just had a certain amount of money. So maybe like, say, we'll say $6.50. Because I know it wasn't much. But I had these accumulated items and, you know, I, I just grabbed them and I didn't know how much, some of them I didn't know how much they were because they didn't have stickers on them and some of them had a discount on them and all kinds of weird things. So anyways, I was just kind of mad and frustrated because I was broke and <laughs> living in Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> Loved Oregon, but never could make any money there. But, so God says, you're mine. And I thought, well, that's, that's nice, you know. But you don't pay so good. So I'm kind of like, you know, God says, you're my child. And I'm kind of like, yeah, so? <laughs> and then he said something to me that blew me out of the water. Because when it hit me, I just started cracking up. He said, you are a son of God. And I went, and I started thinking about that, and I went, Son of God. And then it started clicking, you know? The old juices started going, ching, ching. you know, and I went, is this any way for a son of God to act? And I started laughing in line. I'm sure people turned around and went, ooh, Rudo, get away from him. Watch out for that guy. Be careful, let's get away. Run! But no, seriously, I did. I started laughing right there in line. I looked around and I noticed every single person in that line was frowning and was discouraged and had just a mean look on their face, you know, because they were waiting in line, you know, and this line wasn't moving that fast, you know, and all the other lines weren't moving that fast. So I started smiling. I started laughing. It was funny to me. I started seeing exactly the difference between being a son of God and knowing it and being a child of the world and not knowing that you're really a son of God. That as an ugly duckling, on the one hand, you may want to scrape, you know, kind of claw on the ground, you know, and act like you're a chicken. You know, kind of peck at the ground, you know, and peck at each other, you know, and peck at this and peck at that. You know, you know the type, you know, Christians are running around pecking each other, you know, saying what's wrong with the church or what's wrong with, you know, doing this or what's wrong with Christmas of all things. I mean, come on, get real. Give me a break, you know. You're going to knock Christmas? <laughs> what else? Easter, too? <laughs> okay, good. Knock them both down. The only ones we got left are what? Nothing. <laughs> oh, okay, so we're going to knock the last two out. But, you know, they're, they're clawing at the ground, you know, and they're pecking like little chickens, you know, do, you know, and they just you throw out some rocks and they'll peck at the rocks and eat them. You throw out some seed and they'll peck at the seeds and eat them, you know. But sometimes they just don't make much sense, you know, because they're just clucking and pecking, you know, and, Pecking and clucking. But me, I'm a goose. You know, I get to get up and fly and take a gander at the world. You know, I get to fly north and south and go far and wide, you know, all over the place. So this ugly duckling standing in line went, Man, I'm a, I'm a son of God. <laughs> and I started feeling pretty special about myself. Matter of fact, I started realizing that. I got something they don't got. And I said, I got joy. You know, I got God. You know, and I started squaring my shoulders and thinking, man, you know what? This is cool. They don't know who they're dealing with. I'm a son of God. I'm a heir of all things, man. I don't need any of this stuff. Who cares about these groceries? Who cares about this line? You know, I'm going to be spending eternity going through the universe. And I got God with me. I got God in me. I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> you know? And the funny thing was, was that, bam, when I hit that thought, that line just seemed to fly. And everyone else seemed to kind of like notice me and they kind of mellowed their, their kind of mean looks a little bit, not much, but you know how that is. Just a bunch of chickens scraping the ground. So I kind of went, you know what, as soon as I get past this line, I'm going to buy a donut. Because that used to be my treat. I would go to this this donut shop that I could buy these 
little Pepsis. You know, I love Pepsi. Little Pepsis, you know, that were fountain and a glazed donut. And it used to be my treat. And I didn't know if I had enough money or not, you know. And I got up in line, and sure enough, after I paid for my groceries, I had just enough, exactly enough, for a donut and a Pepsi. So I went over and sat down, had that donut and Pepsi, and I wasn't going to have another one for a week. Bummer, dude, you know. But, <laughs> but the joy of knowing who I was and what God had made me and called me to be as a son of God. <sighs> Man, what do you say to that? What do you say to that? Do you know you're a child of God? Do you know that you're a son and daughter of God? Do you act like it? Do you realize that you need fear nothing because God is with you? You need not have discouragement, but that you could be encouraged and that you are the one that affects everyone else around you. You're the one. You don't need you have something to give. You're not the one that has needs. They've been met by Jesus. You just got to turn over to him and get what he wants for you. You know, if he wants you to go through it, you go through it. If he wants you to escape it, you'll escape it. If he doesn't want you to, you know, and you're going to die, hey, praise the Lord, you're going home. Dig it. <laughs> you're out of here. You realize for us, because we're, we're sons of God and daughters of God, that this is the closest thing to hell we get. This is our hell. Man, we're going to heaven. <laughs> yeah. So, don't be afraid of the terrors of the night or anything that's around you. Man, come on now. Well, rather, remember that thought. Remember, you are a child of God. You're a son and daughter of the king. You're, by the spirit of adoption, a person who can say to God, Father, Abba, Daddy, the Lord is in the midst of you. Fear thou not, for I am with you. Be thou not dismayed, for I am thy God, and I will strengthen you. Yea, I will help you. Yea, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Strengthen you the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. You are the one who can. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with recompense. He will come and save you. Cool. Give it to him and let him do it. You don't need to do nothing. Just tell him. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over you with singing. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. What do you got to worry about? Rejoice! <laughs> it's a good time of year for it. <laughs> and if you got a problem, hey, you to the man upstairs, because you know what? He's got you covered.